Okay, um, going from hell to heaven. Okay. Um, and yeah, I think that's actually a, a very enlightening route. I think it's a very common route, especially in the, you, you get people in the 12 steps and other spiritual groups who go into the pits of hell where you find out that your ego is not your friend. But that definitely happened with me. Uh, so um, a life of addiction, food addiction, uh, uh, work addiction in the stock market, lust addiction, uh, all of those things uh, led to the body dying, organ failure, doctors uh, fighting to save my life in complete, utter emotional hell and, and with the, you know, facing death with the life starting to flash before one's eyes. And in that point, um, you know, something, some sanity, you know, surrenders to God and there's an infinite spiritual experience that lifts you up. You know, uh, it's kind of like a forgiveness or uh, um, a humility finally in the soul to, to let go to, um, to divinity. And uh, there can be these spectacular spiritual experiences. Um, I mean, I went into a heavenly, timeless uh, bliss in the near-death one, but there can also be uh, others ones, you know. They you can be catapulted. And, um, and uh, so that's quite common. I mean, the level of catapulting, how high in level of consciousness you go, varies from person to person. And that will be de dependent on various factors. Sometimes it also... Uh, there can be a call to divinity, you know, with real humility and real earnestness and sincerity. There's a call on divinity uh, and the divinity answers God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. So it answers the call and you're lifted up. And, and, the, and, it, and if uh, you're lucky, that can last for a very long time or forever. Um, and uh, so... Uh, or it can be it lasts for a while, and then you're expected to go to work and finish off what's remaining of the ego. It's a, I'd be grateful if those uh, experiences happen and um, do the course, uh, spiritual programs. And um, my experience with being catapulted, the only reason you're spat out, you know, I think this is quite common for a lot of spiritual seekers. They go into these sublime experiences, which are so, um, incredible i mean you can talk about them uh, but they usually come out get spat out and i think i'll talk about that i mean i think why do why does it happen why does one go quickly from hell to heaven i'd say um um it's the 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 ego um sort of um its arrogance and its inflation and its defiance consciously or unconsciously at divinity is humbled you know by following its dictates identifying with the thoughts and its programs, um, one has now gone into such extreme darkness and it's realized, uh, some sanity realizes that the ego is not your friend when you're in absolute torment. Uh, you know, you followed it, eating all those donuts and ice creams, <laughs> you know, really sort of reveling until you get tormented by, by the ego. And then um, some sanity arises in humility and, and a surrender that, uh, you know, it's not your friend. And then, you know, it's like, suddenly it can be like a lightning bolt. You're, you're cast into heaven. That's very auspicious. And if you stay in heaven forevermore, well, that's, uh, that's wonderful. Um, and uh, sometimes it does happen that way. But um, otherwise, a lot of people, actually, the majority that I speak to uh, come out of it. And that's because it's like, you know, you haven't really done transcending every aspect of your ego. But if you do, my words, my words for what they're worth uh, would be, don't identify. I mean, once you're there, I mean, it doesn't make sense what I'm saying, but a, a kind of a vigilance, not a mental vigilance, but a kind of uh, humility and vigilance not to identify with any thought, any person, any place, any situation, any circumstance, not identify with time. Because the moment it's like the grace starts to, to become less and if there's anything in the ego to re-identify with thoughts with the body with whatever it is uh with a per special person so if you want to stay there you must keep that vigilance up and it doesn't it sounds like a paradox because there is no ego it's not real but for those who who didn't stay there um they'll know what i'm talking about um 
So I'm really happy to hear people are going into these sublime things. I think it's quite common because often um, if you're only in mild pain, a lot of spiritual seekers, when they're in mild pain, they don't really have that willingness, I think is the right, yeah, the willingness to really ferociously undo the ego with great humility in every single split second. So, you know, it's, it easily becomes arrogant again, has resentments, judgments, uh, wants to have a donut and 10, 10 chocolate cakes. So, um, which is a kind of, a, yeah. So uh, happy to hear people are going into the sublime and just uh, wishing the miracles uh, and grace to sustain that. Okay, I'm gonna press stop, pressing stop.